Uh, namaste. In this tutorial, I will show you some basics of fluid simulation in SolidWorks. So let's first make a sketch uh, in which we will going to do fluid simulation. First, we are going to select front plane. As you see, what we will do, uh, what we do now is that we select the center of the axis and we keep the thickness of 10 mm. Again, select the front plane and we will make two holes. Now do extrude cut. Similarly, similarly on the opposite side. Convert entities. Basically, what convert entities do? For example, I select this thing, and it will going to make draw this on this uh, on this front plane. Now, what I will going to do is extrude base pose to make a pipe structure. First, click on offset uh, and click and value 100 mm. Up to surface and select this face. Go to thin feature because it's basically a pipe. Uh, the thickness of the pipe uh, we are going to give is 2 mm. As you can see, uh, after, uh, the pipe is, is done. So what basically up to surface do is that uh, when I select this face, that max tool uh, will be going to done uh, up to on this surface. So this is here we reach. Now similarly we done uh, we will going to do on another side here control 8 I am going to use uh, I am using uh, to make normal uh, normal view from the front plane So wait. Okay. Next tour. Oh, 
that. Up to surface. Oh, we'll make it in rotation. No, this is right. Now, after doing that, what you need to go and do is to add flow simulation. Uh, is it only a minute? I click OK. Uh, now, fluid simulation option uh, will going to come. So, what kind of things uh, we need while doing fluid simulation? The things we are going to need in fluid simulation is that. Uh, that our body is fully closed. Uh, okay, the question arises why the body is need to be fully closed. The reason is that we are going to do internal fluid simulation. In that case, it is mandatory that the body is fully closed. So, how we are going to uh, fully close the body? So, first click on this create lid and select this, uh, and we will be going to select two faces. Uh, the first face is this. And the second phase is this. Then click OK. Now here is the option check ge uh, geometry. Click on it. Uh, now our float uh, flow simulation app is internal type. OK. Uh, now check. Now it shows the result status successfully geometry. Okay, it means that if we are going to do fluid simulation, uh, it uh, it we can do it because uh, there is no cap or something else, and the total fluid volume is 0 0.0 something, and solid volume is that. So I hope it is useful for you. Now, how to start the fluid simulation? First, click on Wizard. Okay, first save the file first. Uh, name one. Now click on wizard, uh, product name, whatever you want to give the product name, you can give it. Uh, I didn't going to change this time. Uh, now, for example, I am from India. So in here, the units are this Pascal, meter, second, kgs. As per my requirement, these units are good for me. If you are from British, there are some other units like, for example, PSI, others. Uh, you can change as per your requirements. They are lots of options to changing so choose as per your requirement so after that click on next now what kind of fluid simulation is internal fluid simulation uh, uh, please forget about these things because uh, I'm not going to use these kind of things right now uh, I will show you some in another videos uh, how when we will going to use uh, when we are going to use this okay then click next Please specify the fruit to be analyzed in this project. Okay, uh, he is basically asking that uh, what kind of fluid you are going to use. Uh, click on liquids and expand it, and click on and double click on water. And here, is, here we got. Then click on next. Then click on next. Then click next. Uh, you can increase the result resolution by up to eight, but I warned you. Higher you are going to increase the result resolution, higher it will going to take time and higher the burden it will going to take on your PC. So it depends on you uh, how much accuracy you want uh, in your results. So I recommend you that go to 8 but if you have a low PC and you want just result uh, not very high accuracy just leave it to at 3. Now then click on finish. Now first thing that uh, comes in fluid simulation is where the fluid comes and where the fluid goes so the, you see here option is boundary conditions so right click on it and insert boundary condition now the first thing is going to set is select face now for example if I select face like this just external touch okay uh, I'm going to face from external sides and I enter the value point uh, zero 0.5 kg per second okay then click ok as you see phase 1 is out of computational domain so 
this is a wrong way to select a face so how to choose the face in solidworks first okay first go to top and select clear selection now how to do it now select this face and click right click and uh, this option is select other click on it as you see uh, currently I am selecting the face opposite it is opposite side to the lid so I am currently selecting the opposite side of the lid uh, lead the face one okay now now try to do uh, try to click okay now it is under the fluid domain there is another method to do the same that is click on the section view okay uh, because basically what we want uh, we want to select from the inside now click on insert boundary and select this face now uh, in this simulation what we, uh, what will going to happen we are going to miss a hot and cold fluid uh, now from this side a ho hot fluid will become enter enter the mass 0.5 now how to change the temperature at the inlet go to thermodynamic parameters click ok and enter the value as per environment I am entering 800 Kelvin uh, and it is very great temperature now now for example if you want to add temperature uh, if you want to uh, enter mass uh, as a function of X you can also add like formula def definition you can add the formula definition as per your requirement as per you want in my case I just want 0.5 kg a steady flow anything else and then click OK now uh, I, uh, I show you two sides for example where the fluid uh, where the fluid coming now I now after that mixing I want that the fluid goes out so what I'm going to click on this pressure openings and I select this face okay, then click OK now just click one more time on section view here it is uh, now run the fluid simulation run ok Here what we uh, what are watching is temperature what is the temperature impact on impact when the fluid are going to mix basically it's uh, start calculating so we can see clearly, uh, slowly slowly uh, now as you see here you see uh, here is the fluid uh, whole fluid coming inside and is a cold fluid that is at the uh, 25 degrees Celsius uh, now here you see that they are going to mix now if you want to change for example you want to see on front print and want to see pressure temperature density velocity etc whatever thing you want to see just click on it for example in this case i want to see the pressure hey you see here you are going to see here you are watching is temperature now click on pressure okay here is the variation temperature from 101.5 pascal to 1017 something else is uh, going on so basically it's calculating uh, what kind of temperature now minimum temperature is 293.17 Kelvin maximum is 800 something Kelvin as you can see 290 uh, here is the green part which is the maximum uh, which which covers the maximum area of our fluid domain and we can easily check the temperature what is this temperature after the fluid simulation is done it basically is calculating and we can't do anything till now and so just wait and how it's going on we can see that after that uh, I will show you uh, how to run animation in this uh, just wait a minute uh, as you see it uh, it is taking time just think if I set to the as I show a desert resolution if I set it to number 8 then trust me it will going to take more than an hour to just uh, run this simulation so as I told you that I refer you just take three four because we just normally uh, because our aim is to learn the fluid simulation uh, we are not 
going that deep okay uh, it will just take one more minute and it's done now after here you will get the message solver is finished click on solid works expand the results select float trajectories insert clear selection right click on it select other okay right click on it select other okay right click on it select other okay enter the number of particles 100 now appearance uh, i want arrows okay point zero tmm uh, but my main is pressure now click on okay As I see, uh, I am not fully able to see that these kind of things are running inside because I didn't give any kind of transparency. So first click on transparency and increase up to uh, 90. Then click OK. Here I get a better ch chance to look how it's going to happen, how it is happening. Now go to flow trajectories, right click and play. Here I get a better view how it's going how it's happening and the green devil is near about uh, 518 or 574 in the in between them so right click on it and click on stop now for example if you go into uh, research point of view but you need a graphs a lot of graphs so what we are going to do is click on xy plot it was asking this like the sketch curve etc so first cancel it go to model uh, click right click on front plane and then click on sketch then go to sketch then press ctrl plus 8 and draw a line straight okay after doing that go to fluid simulation click on xy plane instead of selecting this line what we need to many people but do after seeing this they are selecting this straight line no we don't need to do that expand this tree and select sketch okay now here we got now what we want to get we want to measure all this thing click on all now go to the bottom and click on show but we'll going to show you change in pressure with respect to this length now the pressure is as we see first going down and then increase this is the variation temperature velocity velocity along x velocity along y velocity along z so i hope it is useful for you you can also what you do uh, for example you can export to excel now all this data is automatically will go to excel so it is easy to share with anyone so what kind of impact now here we got relative pressure stress vorticity velocity i hope this is useful for you now here is all the data what is changing uh, what is changing pressure with respect to length temperature density you can share with any uh, any teacher or you can publish this kind of thing in research paper it will be very useful for you um, i hope this basics of fluid simulation tutorial is useful for you if you have any query any doubts please feel free to ask me uh, you can comment uh, comment on my youtube channel or you can ask me on instagram uh, thank you for watching uh, sub please subscribe have a nice day